Hi, my name is Galit Benarzi, and I'm going to be your teacher today. Today we are going to talk about adjectives. What are adjectives? Let's learn together. For this lesson, you will need, of course, your notebooks, your smartphones, and something to write with, pen or a pencil. Now, look at this picture. What do you see? Okay, we see a man, a young man. He is riding on a yellow bike. We see a monster. Let's move on. What do you see in the picture? So you can come up with sentences. We can say that there is a big monster. There is a black monster. It is a bad monster. The young man is scared. The man has a yellow bike. The scared young man is riding on a yellow bike. What do all of these words in red, what are they? Okay, what do they all have in common? I'm sure you all know the meaning of the word yellow, big, young, bad, and scared. But what are they? What, which part of speech? All of these words are adjectives. Adjectives are words that tell us about people, places, and things. They give us more information. Adjectives tell us about people, places, and things. For example, we have a monster, but we can add information. We want to learn more about the monster. We want to know how the monster looks like. So we can say that the monster is big, a big monster, okay? And we can say that there is a big monster, not just a monster. We have black, and we can say that, a bla we can say black monster. So, and we can say that there is a black monster. There is a big black monster. Scared can describe the man, okay? It tells us about the man. Scared men. Look at that and the scared man. Look at him. He is very scared. Yellow. Yellow bike. We can say that there is a yellow bike. Not just bike, but yellow. Young men. The man is young. Look at the young men. Now we know more about these people and things. Let's look at this example. Let's look at this example. This is a cat, just a cat. But this is my big black cat. We know how it looks. It is big and black. Look at the man. Okay, what man? What can you tell me about him? Look at the scared young man. It's not only that he is a young man, but he's also scared of something. It is very important to know where to place the adjective in the sentence. Adjectives come in different places in the sentence. For example, in this table, okay, the adjectives come before the noun. Look at the young man. There is a big monster, okay? They go together with the article. And he has a yellow bike, a yellow bike. We call it a noun phrase. Now, in the next table, you can see that the adjective doesn't go with the, with the noun. It goes separately, okay? It comes after the verb. This is the verb. 
and we say the man is scared. Scared describes the man, but it's, it is separate. The man is scared. The monster is big. Big describes the monster. And the bike is yellow. Yellow describes the bike. We have different kinds of adjectives, okay? Let's look at the list here. We have another table. Red and black are adjectives. Two and many. One, two, three, four. These are adjectives. Numbers are adjectives. Many, few, a lot. Big, young, happy and scared. What kinds of, adje what kind of, what kinds of adjectives are they? So, Colors are adjectives. Red, yellow, blue, green, these are all adjectives. Numbers are adjectives. Quantifiers, words that tell us how much, how many, are adjectives as well. Words that describe size and shape. Big, small, tall, short, fat, thin. These are adjectives. Round, square, these are adjectives, okay? And also words that describe feelings. How do you feel? Happy, sad, tired, angry, hungry. These are all adjectives. Look at the picture. What can you tell me about the picture? What do you see here? These are penguins. And we can say that there are many penguins on the beach. There are a lot of penguins on the beach. What can you tell me about these kids? Can you tell me how they feel? Yes, these kids are happy. Look at the car. What can you tell me about the car? Look at my red car. Definitely it's a red car. And what can you tell me about these two little boys? Look at the two little boys. They are happy. Let's go over the words that we're going to work on today. The adjectives that we're going to work on today. I'm going to read them in English, but I want you to look at the meaning in your, in your language. Okay? I want you to look at the Hebrew or Arabic translations. Alone. Amazing. Bored, curious, excellent, famous, healthy, his, messy, quiet, and shy. These are all adjectives. We're going to read, you're going to listen to them, and we're going to play with them. Now, we are going to play. So I want you either to take your smartphone and scan the code or go into the link. Okay, just a second. Fix everything here. Okay. Um, okay. Now, I want you to look at the picture and tell me what, which adjective is that. Look at the girl. Can we say that she is healthy, young, messy, or shy? I think she is shy. And that man, what can you tell me about him? Is he bored, young, alone, or quiet? I think he is bored. And what can you tell me about this person, I think its name is Michael Jordan, if I'm not wrong. Is he alone, amazing, curious, or famous? Yes, he's a very famous basketball player. Look at that room. Is it quiet, young, messy, or alone? What can you tell me about that room? It is messy, it is a very messy room. Okay, what can you tell me about that man? 
is he curious, famous, healthy, or amazing? What do we know about him? Maybe he looks curious. Yes, he looks curious. Wow. What can you say? Which word describes this? Wow. When do we say wow? When you're curious? When you're famous? When you're healthy? Or when you see something amazing? I think it's amazing. And I'm correct. And what can we say to describe this 100%? Curious, excellent, healthy, or amazing? Excellent. Okay, now we are going to play another game. Let's play a matching game. Okay, I hope you can see everything. So we are playing against the watch. Let's start. We have bored, famous, quiet, messy, and excellent. Let's see. Let's look at this picture. Which word describes it? Okay. Bored. Just a second. Bored. That man is bored. And what can you tell me about this picture? You have to be quiet. And 100% is when something is excellent. Now we have famous, messy, and alone. What can you tell me about that man in the picture on a desert island? Is he? I think he is alone. There is no one else with him. And what can you tell me about that room? It's very messy. And he is a famous basketball player. Good for us. Let's move on. I want you to look at this picture. This is Pip. Pip is a puppy, a young dog. We are going to watch a film, a short film, with questions about Pip. Okay? You can watch the film by, by scanning this QR code or by going into the link, like I'm going to do now. We are going to watch this film, and along, along the film, there are going to be some questions that we're going to answer together. Let's start. Okay. Pip is a dog. What can you tell me about him? Is he a young dog or an old dog? Yes, he is a young dog. Let's continue. Okay, Pip is short or tall? Pip is short.
Okay. Pip is of the man. Is he scared of the man or is he bored from the man? Pip is scared of the man. Is very sad or scared now. He is sad. Poor Pip. dog. Is he an excellent guide dog or healthy guide dog? Excellent. Now a guide dog is a dog that goes with blind people, people who cannot see. He helps them. So Pip is an excellent guide dog. That was a story about Pip. Let's move on. I really hope that you enjoyed that. Now we are going to go on break. On a break, you have to take out your smartphones and scan the t this QR code. You have a short assignment to do. I'm going to see you right after the break. Bye. <laughs>
Welcome back. We are going to continue with the lesson about adjectives. We are going to read now. Practice and read. Look at this picture. Do you know that man? What can you tell me about the picture? What can you tell me about the man in the picture? You can see that he is an old man. He has messy white hair. He has a long mustache. And we can see that he had an old jacket. This is a scientist. This is a picture of a scientist. A scientist, scientists are people, men or women, that discover things. They solve problems. They help, they help people. Scientists deal, deal with science. Science is the subject in which they work. Okay, this is their job. They usually work in labs. Now we are going to read a text. We're going to read a short story about that old man. Young Albert Einstein. Do you remember the picture we saw in a second? An old man. And the story is about him when he was young. Young Albert Einstein. Are you familiar with that name? Albert Einstein is one of the most famous scientists of all time. He was one of the most famous, sorry, he was one of the most amazing people. Albert Einstein was a very shy boy who did not talk. He was quiet. His parents took him to see a doctor. The doctor said that young Albert was a healthy little boy. Einstein was bored at school because the lessons were not about the things he wanted to learn. When he was 10 years old, he started studying science alone. As a child, Einstein was excellent at math and science. He was a very curious boy. When Albert Einstein was 43 years old, he won the Nobel Prize. The Nobel Prize is a very big and famous prize for scientists. We give it to scientists who change the world. Now, we read a story, it's about Albert Einstein, this young, okay, young boy, that old man. And there were quite a lot of adjectives in our story. I don't know if you paid attention to them. We learned that he is one of the most famous scientists and he is one of the most amazing people. Do you remember these words? He was a very shy boy. He was quiet. And the doctors say that he was a healthy and little boy. He was a healthy little boy. He was Einstein was bored at school, okay? And he started studying science alone by himself. He was excellent at math and science, and he was a very curious boy. When he was 43 years old, he won the Nobel Prize, which is a big and famous prize for scientists. Let's work on the story. Now you have to match the beginning of the sentences in A with the ending of the sentences in B. One, he was a quiet boy. Two, the doctor said that. Three, he was fa a famous. Four, when he was 10 years old. Five, he was excellent at. B, I'm going to read all the words. Scientist, who 
did not talk. He started to study alone. The boy was healthy. Math and science. Now let's match the beginning of the sentence with its end. He was a quiet boy who did not talk. The doctor said the boy was healthy. He was a famous scientist. When he was 10 years old, he started to study alone. He started to study science alone. Yes. Five. He was excellent at math and science. Now, check your answers. See that you got them correct. And if you didn't, correct them. Okay. In this exercise, you have to circle the correct word to complete the sentence. First, I'm going to read. One, he is an excellent board scientist. Two, he is a shy, famous scientist. Many people know him. Three, the boy is very healthy or quiet. He doesn't talk. Four, he studied young or alone. Five, he is a curious, excellent boy. He wants to know science. Now, what are the correct answers? Which adjective goes? Okay, which adjective is the correct one? So, one, he is an excellent scientist. Two, he is a famous scientist because many people know him. Three, the boy is very quiet. He doesn't talk, he's very quiet. Four, he studied alone by himself with no one else. He studied alone. Five, he is a curious boy. He wants to know science. He is very curious. Check your answers. Let's move on. Now, in this exercise, we have sentences based on the story or taken from the story. And you have to say, to write next to each one of them if it is a true, if it's, if it's uh, a true sentence, if it's a, according to the text, if the answer is yes. If it's wrong, if it's not correct, if it's not according to the text, you write no. And if the answer, and if, if, and if the, que the sentence is not about something from the text, you write, I don't know. Albert Einstein is a very famous scientist. Two. Albert Einstein won the Nobel Prize. Three. The Nobel Prize is not a famous prize. Four. Einstein was always alone. Five. The doctor said that the boy was sick. Six. Einstein was a very curious boy. Now, let's see. So, Albert Einstein is a very famous scientist. Yes, he is a very famous scientist. Yes, he was. 
two, Albert Einstein won the Nobel Prize. The Nobel Prize. Yes, he did. He won the Nobel Prize. Three, the Nobel Prize is not a famous prize. No, that's wrong. The Nobel Prize is a very famous prize. Four, Einstein was always alone. I don't know. It is not mentioned, it is not written in the story. Five, the doctor said that the boy was sick. No. The doctor said that it, he was healthy. Six, Einstein was a very curious boy. Yes, he was. Now we, ha we have to complete the sentences using the information from the story. One, Albert Einstein is one of the most famous. Two, when he was young, he Three, his parents took him to a doctor because four, Einstein started to study science alone when five, he got bored at school because six, he won the Nobel Prize when? These are the correct answers for our sentences. Let's read them and see that you wrote the correct answer. One, Albert Einstein is one of the most famous scientists of all time. Two, when he was young, he was very he was a very shy boy. Three, his parents took him to a doctor because he did not talk. Four, Einstein started to study science alone when he was 10 years old. Five, he got bored at school because the lessons were not about the things he wanted to learn. Six, he won the Nobel Prize when he was 43 years old. Did you answer it correctly? If not, correct your mistakes, make all the necessary changes. And we are going to move on. We are going to continue to practice. In this exercise, you have to put the sentences in the correct order of the story. Okay, so first let's read the sentences. His parents took him to a doctor. Einstein won the Nobel Prize when he was 43 years old. At the age of 10, he started to study science alone. When he was young, he did not talk. The doctor said that young Albert was a healthy little boy. Okay, which is the first sentence? Which is the last? Let's put them in the correct answer, in, in the correct order, sorry, and let's check. So now, number one is, when he, was a young, when he was young, he didn't talk. Number two, his parents took him to a doctor. What happened then? The doctor said that young Albert was a healthy little boy. Four, at the age of 10, he started to study science alone. 
Einstein won the Nobel Prize when he was 43 years old. Good. Sorry, we actually got ah, to the end of the lesson. So, what do you think about this old man? Let's look at the, what we, at the pictures of the, of the different things that we had in the lesson, okay? We had Pip, the guide dog, the short guide dog, that wasn't so short in his soul. He was actually a very brave and smart dog. We had the monster and the boy. Maybe the monster is not that bad. And we had Albert Einstein, who is that? We see an old man, but he actually is a person that changed our lives. He changed a lot of things. He discovered new things. So, when we look at people or things, we do not always see everything that is important. Many times we have to go deeper to get to know that person, to learn more about him or about that animal. Thank you for your time, and that's it.